What's up guys, Landed Rich, call center crew. Uh, welcome back to me. It's been a busy, busy start of the year. March was absolutely wild, but uh, I'm excited to be coming back with you guys uh, full force. Um, so for today's Metric Monday, we're gonna jump right in. Look, sales, Salesforce is one of the largest CRMs, the largest CRM, and, and they do everything from, from sales to support to e-commerce to uh, communities to I everything. I mean, they cover every facet of, of a business. And, uh, you know, depending on what type of business you are, this CRM um, could be integrated into every aspect, uh, fulfillment, the front end, the call center, and that's what we're going to focus on today. So with Salesforce, again, depending on what type of uh, center you are, are you uh, customer service, are you sales, are you tech, are you whatever, you're going to have most likely tickets. And that's what I want to focus or cases, right? Cases and or tickets that are opened. Um, and these can be opened a few different ways. We're not gonna to focus too much on those, but again, they could be opened by the customer through a portal on the website. They could be opened um, by the call center agent themselves as the customer calls in on the inbound queue. Uh, whatever it is, these tickets or cases, they roll into just like a queue, just like a phone call, right? They go into a queue and you can categorize them based on importance or um, urgency, right? High priority, low priority, so on and so forth. Uh, so that's what we're going to focus on today for the cases and the tickets. Kind of some best practices that I've seen inside of the contact center with call center agents that are handling these types of uh, interactions, these types of, uh, uh, of customer uh, support. So with tickets and cases, first thing, uh, as I mentioned before, you need to categorize these very quickly on what uh, are they high priority, medium, or low priority? And then you need to have, make sure that you have your best and whether, whether you categorize best as fastest in terms of fastest agent that works on them and resolves them fastest or um, you know, best as in the agent who can handle and solve problems the best uh, for certain you know, high priority items. You need to first categorize your, t your tickets, whether it be high, low, high, medium, low, I don't care. Um, and then you need to put your agents according to those priorities, right? If it's a new hire team on the job training, probably low priority is going to be best, right? You can start them off nice and slow. Um, and so they're not rushed. They can learn the, the, the basics and then they can move up in the uh, medium and the high tickets and the high cases as they get better, as they get more tenure. Um, second of all is you need to have visibility into uh, the start time, the, the enter time, the start time, and the finish time so you can track, obviously, efficiency, right? Number one is you want to, most likely you're going to want, and again, depending on, on uh, urgency here, you're going to want a certain average handle time, just like on a phone call or whatever you call it, case time or, or open time or whatever it is on a ticket. If it's a higher urgency, it might be, you know, it might be, you need to have first response within you know, two hours and that ticket needs to be answered within three hours or, you know, whatever the parameters are, um, you need to have visibility into when the agent, when it was received, when the agent started it, how long it took the agent to finish it, right? Um, if you don't have visibility into that, I'm telling you right now, you're losing tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, depending on the size of your shop, uh, every single year. Every single year, you are losing huge amounts of money because uh, either one, number one, you just don't know how long a ticket's supposed to take. Maybe a, a maybe a high priority ticket should be handled in five minutes. When your agents are telling you, "Oh, it's taking me an hour," and you're like, "Oh, well, it's high priority, so maybe it is taking an hour, right?" And you want them to answer that high priority ticket, you know, correctly. So maybe they're, yeah, oh yeah, an hour, that's fine. When really it should be taking five minutes, right? Um, and then obviously, unfortunately, inside the industry, agents, you know, the some agents, not all. We'll find ways to, to you know, call a void with tickets as well, just like with anything else. They'll sit on uh, working time while working on a ticket, and it may be 15 minutes when the ticket really should have taken one minute, right? It was a simple, simple ticket, a few clicks of a button in a CRM to reorder or to, you know, turn on an account or whatever it is or get a response back to the customer could take one minute. And guess what? The agent's sitting there for 15 minutes or even more. Trust me, I've seen cases where agents have been, I mean, taken four calls all day long, worked on four tickets all day long, and because the, the shop didn't have visibility into it, they had no idea. So they were paying this agent $15, $16 an hour to answer tickets, and guess what? They just paid them oh, hundreds of dollars for that day for doing four tickets, right? So visibility is, is huge. So set those, pri those parameters, set those metrics, and then last um, to wrap up here is you need to have goals set for your agents, right? How many tickets per day? Uh, what was the average? 
response rate on those tickets. How long did it take to actually process that ticket, uh, to finish that ticket out? So visibility into there. And again, Salesforce, a lot of the CRMs, they'll give you some of that data, but some of it's gonna be outdated. You need to have this real time. You need to treat these tickets just like phone calls in terms of average speed of answer, average handle time, abandon rate, things like that, because that is going to directly affect your customer service. So again, tickets, I don't care what CRM you're in, cases, set the parameters, set the goals, and have visibility into it, guys. Again, I'm happy to be back. Full force metric Mondays uh, coming at you today. Weekly wisdom on Friday. The weekly podcast coming back this Wednesday. uh, And a a few more exciting things that I'm going to be announcing here um, throughout the week. So stay tuned. And thanks, guys. Callcentercrew.com. Have a good day.